The many things that you'll find at Russell Island is bushes and trees side by side. It goes downhill from there. <laughs> I've already been down there. Have you? Yeah. Good. So you got Big Bubby's name incorrect, of course. All clear. All clear. Radio. Okay. Very, very rainy. Very gloomy. The uh, the tropical low severe thunderstorm is barreling down Russell Island. Yes, Island is it's the very very next day here, and yeah, we're just heading back to my place now. Uh, pretty much that's it for the, uh, the open mic right here. It's the first open mic this month. Um, I know it's been you know pretty boring for the most part, and uh, that you obviously didn't get to see. This is the beginning of the episode right here. Yeah, yeah, everything's fine. We're obviously going to be having a um, having a bit of a, a bit of time to reflect on everything that's been happening with Isle of Life right here. Uh, the 1,000th episode—that's only 18% of the way there, uh, because, like I've said before, it's quite a big task to put together the best of the best of each episode in. And so, so I've obviously gone ahead and done that. They are still not there yet, but I'm pretty sure that as we go on um, with the uh, with the compilation right there, I'll surely get there in the end. It's going to take a couple of months to edit that down. But once I have it, it'll be there and uh, be ready for viewing. So that'll take a while though to edit. So I'll definitely uh, be putting in a revision after that um, to obviously not do that again <laughs> probably like every like it's five ten episodes or so if we ever reach the 2000th um, episode milestone but anyways Islanders as you probably have guessed here um, it's pretty gloomy um, yeah it's pretty, pretty pretty bad it's actually uh, raining right now um, because there's um, been a tropical low uh, coming across here that's bringing um, a lot of rainfall to the area and um, there's uh, I think there's two severe thunderstorm cells that are heading right for uh, right for us and one that's heading out to Bribey Island of course it's not the ideal situation but believe me <laughs> what do you expect I'll see you later holy f Holy f***ing Islanders, this is not looking good. You can see we've got the dark skies coming from coming all the way here. <clears throat> we've got the dark skies in the east. This is not looking good, Islanders. Because they're because North Stradbrook Island is just east of us. So yeah. So it looks like that North Stradbrook's obviously going to get the full brunt of the weather. <clears throat> the bad weather's already passed over us. But there's more of it on the way. I can just feel it. But yeah, look at the dark skies right there. It actually came here 15 minutes ago and it darkened a section of Russell Island. Uh, I think it was around here. I think it dark it dark it was very dark in this section of the island fifteen minutes ago while I was having dinner. So I, I would have hate to have seen what would have happened next if I did see it fifteen minutes ago. It would have been really scary. Look, if I put it down that's 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 the real that's yep, that's the true reality right there of what you're seeing. <clears throat> That's the true reality of the weather. Yep, this is about... <clears throat> true reality of the weather. The true reality of the weather. It's definitely true. Very dark. Well, Islanders, what a night. 
I obviously woke up a couple of hours ago, not even sure what I got up to. Um, but yeah, Silenders, it's the end of the weekend. We had open mic today, it was lovely. I obviously got to sing a few songs. Um, I think I got to about five. And then I and then I think for, and then I think I did another three more with a couple of other people as well. Um, so that, I think that I think that counts to eight songs. Yeah, that's eight. Yeah, eight songs. And I knew that I was always, I was going to do one of the party songs because I wasn't going to be there because obviously quarter to four I always come back to my place on a Sunday because as you Islanders know I obviously come back here because of the fact that. You know, I gotta follow like the family's um, protocol. Gotta follow the uh, the family protocol um, because because I don't have because I, I don't have unlimited funding. As you Islanders know, we don't have unlimited funding. We do have big funding, but not unlimited. So I figured that I may as well just you know just follow protocol and. Came back here. I I was spread, um I was gonna make dinner anyways. Um, back over at home anyway. So I think that was good timing for me to head back to the house. <laughs> so yeah. So that's what I did. Came back here and then yeah. While I was having dinner, if you remember, just like just minutes ago. Now about a minute or so ago, um, I was having dinner, and then the uh, then the weather started to become even worse. That's because we've obviously had severe thunderstorms along here, and then and then they moved off the coast, um, into the uh, into the uh, Pacific Ocean, and then after it moved off into the Pacific Ocean, now I think I think the sky just turned dark after that, and here we are now, hours later. So that means that it is the end of the day. Um, and I know that that's going to put you all off as well, just to see that. Um, but yeah, I'll, sh I'll take you on to somewhere else. I'm cooking to death in this bathroom. Okay, Islanders, now that I'm out here in the living room, I can show you Islanders this. Now, Islanders. We are exploding with subscribers. There are subscribers coming in all over the place. And I want to thank all the new subscribers for coming in. <coughs> it is March the 12th now, and as of the 12th of March, we now have 96 Islanders joining in on the program. So it's good to see that, that the Islanders really like the Road to 1K better, and probably the best. <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, it's probably, it will, it will revert back to living in poverty by March, so, yeah, by the time that the March episodes come through, it will go back to living in poverty, because we would have already reached the 1,000th episode, and we can't really call it the road to 1K, if I, if I'm making, if I'm making episodes past 1,000, so we obviously have to revert it back. And it's good to see that you Islanders are taking a really big interest in, in island life. I mean, it really means a lot to me that you Islanders really are enjoying the content that we are providing for you for the month of February 2023. And, you know, that's going to be very good to see. You know, because you Islanders, I appreciate new Islanders and views coming in, all of that. It would be really good to obviously have some new islanders on board who can obviously see these videos and be like, oh yeah, I want to see what happens next. Yeah, but I think to really understand island life and why I made the series, you'll have to go back to episode one. Well, I highly recommend that you see that one first. Because if you do that, that'll give you islanders a better understanding as to why Island Life is on. So you, you have to go back to episode one. It's called Breaking Free. That's where you should go to to find out what's going on and why it's there and all of that. <clears throat> I can see that episode 658, though, is, um, is obviously 
surpassing episode 714 and that the soft opening of the uh, Russell Island Ferry Terminal is now in third place with 321 views. You Islanders seem to be loving that, so I'll keep on doing it. Thanks for watching this episode of Island Life Living in Poverty. Leave a like and subscribe, Islanders. And I will see you Islanders when we have something new going on tomorrow. Bye-bye. Don't forget to click below and subscribe to the official Island Life YouTube channel.